Gorgeous, isn't it? It was warm the last couple of yeah. days, though. My goodness. So it uh, would be nice to see a little cool down. Let's check in with April. She is at Wet and Wild. It's that time of year where uh, people are going to be hitting the water parks. Oh, you and, know it. Yeah, you need Some to. Some people are out there without their swimsuits. Good morning, April. <laughs> But with clothing. That's well, yes, don't, yes. Yeah, don't yeah. make it like that. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Not that kind of water park, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe in the Bahamas yeah. they do that, but not in wet and wild, okay? Oh, exactly. Man, that I don't foot know. in my mouth is huge. I don't know what you do on your vacation. <laughs> uh, it's wet and wild, but it's not that wild out here. Yeah, uh, the kids are having fun. In the wave pool and it's spring break and it's hot it has been in the 90s now we've been in the 90s here in the valley for about eight or nine days now eventually we're going to cool off but the first half of this week is going to be warm so if you're looking for something to do for spring break this week i say come on out here to wet and wild let's check temperatures right now if you're getting ready to head out the door this morning 71 degrees winds around the east at seven miles an hour we've got 31 percent uh relative official day of spring. Gina, will send it inside to you. Alrighty, April, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, you're up there on Pinnacle Peak and we've got a major closure on Pinnacle Peak uh, because of a deadly accident. And uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and go right And Elliot, check out this crowd up early to help show off how much fun and how much fitness you can get by line dancing. Carrie is the instructor out here. Guys, you have a good crowd. These guys and gals, well, guy and gal, they love this. Why is, is this kind of taking off again? Are people really getting back into this? I think it's because it's super fun. It's not super high impact. People can come out on Wednesdays, wear, get dressed up, and then dance for two hours straight if they want to. Two hours of cardio. Well, and that's the benefit of it. I mean, we've just been here for a little bit uh, watching them, and they haven't really stopped much, and you guys really are working up a sweat. I think there's a little bit of a misnomer when it comes to line dancing that you're not going to really get some exercise. You really are. Yes, you are. It's, it is low impact, which is nice for people who have all kinds of issues. Sure. Um, but we do move constantly, so you're constantly fat burning, and it is on Wednesday night, it's social here, so it's making friends, um, that uh, looking forward to seeing people every Wednesday and catching up, and we've formed all kinds of social relationships outside of this now because well, and, of this. And that's something too that's really important, especially as we start to get older, is having that social interaction. And I'm watching this. I just turned 40 and I'm thinking, can I don't know if I can do this. There's a lot of mental... Uh April, I know we need to implement many of these things at home. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know it. I listen to every word the Queen says. Well, we are out here at Wen Wild, and boy, this water is feeling great, especially since we know it's going to be another hot afternoon. We've been in the 90s every day now for eight days, and today, our first day of spring officially, will be no exception. Yeah, as we head into today, it is going to be a warm one. Uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, temperatures today. If you're going to be out and about, maybe doing something. Well, it's been warm lately, and uh, it's really nice that when Wild is open out here. Heather joins me again. We've been talking about the hours this week for spring break are 11 to 5, and a couple things to remember when the weather is unseasonably warm. That's right. So we've got four tips. The first is make sure you apply your sunscreen, and then you can reapply it during the day. The yes. second is hydrate. Yeah. You know, it's really cool. You're having a good time, but make sure you're checking in with your kids regularly and hydrate. The third thing is check all the height restrictions. So yeah. just like when you go to Disneyland, manage your kids' expectations. We have something for everyone, but we want to make sure that kids know what they can ride before they come. Yeah. The fourth, moms, get your season pass. Yeah. $54.99, buy four, you get free parking. It pays for itself in less than two visits. Yeah. We love a good deal. Well, and you know you're going to spend some time at the water park this summer. We're going to cool down later this week, but then the heat will return. So again, wet and wild open all week for spring break. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Arizona.
and we think we're getting a great deal. It is 9 o'clock on the dot. Good morning, Arizona. A beautiful day outside. Why not go wet and wild? Good morning, April. Mm hmm. Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, we're heating it up fast. So uh, because we got a quick warm up uh, water park, it's the perfect place to be wet and wild. They're open all week, uh, which is great because the West Valley, the North Valley all on spring break and especially the first half of this week is going to be pretty warm. So let's talk temperatures uh, right now. We've got across the valley. A Drove up an embankment and slammed into the Pinnacle Peak overpass, and that driver was killed. Pinnacle Peak is closed while engineers from ADOT determined whether the crash compromised the integrity of the bridge. I-17 was closed briefly, but traffic is now flowing once again. So that we can be precise, I want to refer you to exactly what the president said. Right. That you stood... Plane, um, and you can use the um, the thrusts uh, from the handlebars to turn and do different movements, and you can do some backflips. Um, yeah, so there it's it is. So impressive. Now, yeah. we we've seen that these, uh, you know, when they first came out, they were just sort of a hoverboard almost that right. you stood on, and uh, no, this seems to be a little bit more like stable. Is it, so or does hairy. it just look that way? No, it absolutely is. It's um, it's uh, positively buoyant, so um, you can actually just go in the water and. Um, and sit there. You can take it for dives. People put, um, um, you can go underwater for long periods of time and, and stay under there as long as you trust the person on the, on uh -huh. the sea do. Um, yeah, they're easy to learn. You can get up and learning in, in 10 minutes. So impressive. Now, uh, as we look past the jetinator in the distance there, Jules is with us now. That is your husband, Keith, in the sea breacher, right? That's Tell correct. Tell me about this amazing The machine. sea breacher dolphin, it comes in uh, anything that you can imagine, a shark, killer whale version. It's got a 300 um, horsepower Rotax engine, and it's the only submersible with that powerful engine. It can dive underwater about four to five feet and goes 50 to 60 miles an hour on the surface of the water. It can do <laughs> vertical jumps, and it will leave your heart in your shoes. And it's a two-person uh, operation, right? It's a two-person, right? yes. It's a two-person submersible. It's not a submarine. It's a submersible. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm with Hydro Extreme Water Sports here in uh, Peoria, and uh, we're demoing it right now. We're going to be out at the ISC uh, at the expo, and uh, everyone should stop by and take a look. Boys. It's a lot of fun. So this is something that uh, people are buying for their own personal use, just like you would buy uh, a use. wave runner or something like that. Absolutely.